Hey there, everybody. This is Hunum. Back with more Let's Play Fantasy Star Online Episode 1. Now, this is pretty terrible because, uh, this is post production again. Uh, absolutely hate doing post production. And this was mostly all about, uh, me talking in this video. It's a short video, but, um, I explained some big things in it. Uh, and we do do a quest, so don't worry. All right, and here we are. Pretty great, I assume. <laughs> yeah, that was a little joke I was making at the time. Uh, the value of money, the easiest quest in the whole game. I want to my husband to stop wasting money. He spends, uh, he buys too many weapons. Reward 300 mesa. Yeah, yes, I will take that offer. Ah, uh, ah, oh, jeez, I just sort of speed through text sometimes, so I'm a bit anxious about doing uh post commentary. I didn't think I don't know what the he knows yeah I don't think he knows the meaning of the word waste. He buys weapons without a second thought. He could buy much better weapons if he saved his money, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, he'll listen to you since you're also a hunter. Convince him. Basically you gotta be a jerk to the guy in this quest. Just not give him any leniency. Just be a jerk to him. That's that's the whole point of this quest. Uh, <laughs> Oh jeez, I, I I I I love this quest though. Um, it's easiest one in the whole game yet to give it to you later on. What? Who are you? An errand for my wife. I'm buying weapons too often. What? Shut up. <laughs> expensive weapons are strong. With strong weapons, I can kill expensive monsters and I can be rich. <laughs> oh, I love this guy's thinking. So it's smart of me to buy better weapons. Understand? No, I don't understand, jerk. Uh. Yeah, you you actually had to pick that in order to beat the quest. So, why don't you understand? Because I'm a fool. It's not always true. Because you're a fool, and you you actually had to pick this in order to beat the quest. <laughs> Am I always wasting money by w buying all the time? Am I changing weapons too quickly, ignoring cost versus performance? <laughs> I I can't repeat it, but you're right. I <laughs> oh jeez. I can't stop buying weapons. Forgive me. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I love this quest. It's so funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Because people actually do that in the game when you're playing it. That's what makes it funny. Ah. Uh. So, did he finally understand? Now I know. He has. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I never get. I never gets old. We can't afford to waste money to keep him happy all the time. Tell him, no more shopping. Oh, jeez, I'll break his heart, won't it? <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. I, I remember that sometimes in this uh, video, I was just cracking up so much, and I didn't know what I was doing. Um, yeah, see, I was just sort of um, wandering off a little bit there, because I was laughing so much. Oh, jeez. Can I talk to him? Come on, talk to him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I am, but look at this luster. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I, I never get... This quest never gets old. New weapons are so shiny and beautiful. I love buying them, and I'm messing it up by moving the words around while I talk. Jeez, I should probably look at it and read it properly. What? No more shopping. It's too cruel. Yeah, I, I love this quest. Oh, jeez. Oh, and I was looking through weapons to see if, I could, if there's anything even worth buying. Really, there's not even good weapons in a shop. You actually find them from enemy drops. Um, like rare weapons. You actually find them from enemy drops. So you can't even get very good weapons in the shop. Eventually you get to a high enough level where you're like, ah, forget the shop. So I'm, I'm a little disappointed in that guy. Thank you. Was he really that disappointed? <laughs> yes, he was. I'll allow him to buy weapons later. Good job. Please go and receive your money at the guild. Easiest quest win ever. You've been rewarded 300 Mesa. I'm surprised they don't get if you that at like the beginning of the game. I mean, I guess it makes sense that you have to earn your rep eventually, but 
It doesn't make any sense that, um... They give you such an easy quest, uh, that late, like, later, that much in the game. Oh, and I went to go ch test. This was a test to see how powerful the monsters are in the cave, because I was actually thinking about going in there at level 20. Um, I could do some serious level grinding off-screen. But after, like, looking at this, I mean, like, how I did this, I mean, look, there's some evil sharks there. They're, uh, attribute A beast. And they could go down pretty easy against all of late. So, you know, I, I'm saying, yeah, I guess, you know what? Yeah, we will be doing um, this place on at level 8. So, we're actually going to do all the quests in the caves at level 8. Which is something I've never attempted. I've always done them at... I've always level grinded uh, to level 20 and then did them. Um, yeah. And I was like, oh, we're not going to read that. We're not going to spoil things for later on. Ooh, and I, there's a little good item. Uh, well, General Armor, it's actually a pretty good item, I guess. I mean, there are better items, but there's, that's pretty good. Um, there's Dimate. Yeah. And I was like, I guess um, we'll check on the, out in the next room, because I don't want to spoil the entire cave. But I don't want this video to be so utterly dull and boring. Uh... So we got Poison Lily, an evil shark. And, um, I guess I can spoil this for now. Uh, there's a difference between the caves and the forest. A big difference is the caves, instead of just having two areas, it actually has three areas. And each of the areas is big, uh, like, five times bigger than one forest area. It's, and, you know... The, the caves, they change, like, every time. I think there's, like... I'm your rappy guy, Tina, man. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, yeah. The caves, like, there's three different cave maps. I'll come back to... No, we, we're already in it. Yeah, because I was messing with the sea stick, so that's what's happening. Um, yeah, so the caves, there's, like, three different maps for each area. Oh, my gosh. I remember, um... Yeah, so it's hard to memorize the caves, but I, the reason I was doing all that stuff right there was because I was very confused at the time and I was like hey um and the C stick I use it a lot for every game so I mean like other than PSO you use the C stick a lot even in PSO you use it a lot and I was looking at the maps and stuff yeah I'm, so I was thinking of like some other games I was playing and I kept, kept pressing the C stick yeah C stick I tend to do that a lot in games. Um, oh, and that right there. Uh, at the time, I was talking about uh, an online version, or when you're going online, that actually leads to the main lobby. Uh, but see, I'm playing offline, and the GameCube version has been online for a long time. So we don't actually have access to that, ever. And we never will. And here are the next quests, and I was like, ah, oh, jeez, The Lost Bride. I absolutely hate the Lost Bride. It's my like, it's one of my least favorite quests in the entire game. Uh, next time we're gonna be doing addicting food. Oh man, I hate the Lost Bride. Oh jeez, it's a terrible quest. I just absolutely hate it. But yeah, there's actually um some pretty good quests. Yeah, I think that's all I did in the video. I don't remember doing anything else. I was walking around talking about random stuff. Yeah, 90% of this video was me talking, and I lost, like, my audio, so <laughs> that was pretty terrible, because I, I pretty much lost 90% of my video. And then here, I was just like, wow, uh, okay, yeah, that's all we could do. Sorry it's so short. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star Online Episode 1. And then I was like, oh, jeez, I need to go to quit menu. So yeah, bye.